Holy shit. Guys, no, we heard that. Um, we heard at mass destruction at Boston. Oh my god. And we have a mini bot. <laughs> and the guy who missed the button is there with mini Valkyrie. Yes, there is a mini Valkyrie and he's about to test it in the test box. And I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, we'll show you the modifications we made the buddy bot in a second, but we just want to. We want to get this first. We got this guy with this cool-looking speed away drum over here. Uh, let me. That's a controller. Uh, I'll, 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 yeah, you know what? I'll come back to you when Mini Valkyrie tests. Death roll Valkyrie. So it turns out, Will, that this Valkyrie, this bot right here, this one, it came before Valkyrie. Yeah, I'm. This I'm videotaping. They're setting up the box right now. Buddy bot will fight. Probably um, first. So yeah, Valkyrie is just a scaled copy of that little bot over there. So I apologize for the bad camera work. I'd have loved to see uh, Valkyrie Minotaur. That would have been a really good fight. They said they wanted to fight um, Minotaur. They said they yeah. wanted Minotaur. Which would have been a really fun fight. Yeah, I'm waiting for the fun. And all the builders are inside. We're going to go see them later. So we're going to see Jonathan Schultz. Um, there's some child prodigies over there with a bunch of signed hats. And an adult. And a really cool 12 pound bot over there. I don't know if you can see that. That's all white like huge. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Alright, you know what? While we're waiting, we're just going to show you the modifications. My life Done. is complete. Buddy bot. Will, come over here. Okay. So, Buddy bot has received a lot of changes. First of all, he has... Double wheels. It's genius. Yeah, yeah. Um, yep. uh, he now has a titanium wedge that we cut horribly. Um, he's got a logo there. He's got a logo up here. He flips. Um, and the best part is we have a mini bot. Will, do you want to explain this real quick? Hold it down. Uh, I will explain this for a second. So what we did was we pretty, I pretty much want, I brought my mini Hexbug tombstone. And we wanted to see if we could have a little fun with it. So, because I have seen it can get under Buddy Bot here. So, we tested it and it works through the sensors. It works, the sensor works through the glass of the box. So, we have a mini bot, folks. Um, the best part about this new Buddy Bot is uh, this license plate we put on the back. Yes, it is a license plate. It's 3D printed. We just wanted to kick the cat and did it. And then the last thing that we really changed was we put some foam on the inside to try and dampen the impacts. So yeah, we are ready for our fights. That's really fun. With Red Devil, um, and and I think Gigabyte teamed up with Lucky, and it was just like everybody, uh, everybody just kind of knew like we can't let Duff win. Yeah, so everyone teamed up against Duck for the last chance. It, it was just like every, all of the individual teams were like talking to people that were their friends on, on other teams and were like, like, it's going to be a problem if Duck wins. Yeah, because. But also, Duck would be the most adept to fight Tombstone. So, we were all yeah, I mean, because remember, he almost beat him. Yeah, him. exactly. So, it was. Go against Duck because yeah. everyone's my friend. It's Valkyrie. Hey, so. Oh, yeah. Um. So we we um, we're just like um, we're, we're about to meet huge and uppercut overall. I think he said overall. Too. Lots of other people. I think he said overall. We are walking into the room right now. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh! Way bigger. This yes. is bigger than I expected. We really should have brought. We should have brought the. We should have brought, yeah. brought the rake. Why is we bring the rake? We should have brought the rake. Now they're gonna wheel. I know we didn't bring much. We brought. Uh, that's not what I asked you. That's a cool. How big it is? Quite the. Cheese. We're almost ready. It's a mega dive. It's good that the seat. Actually, it's good that the huge is opened up so we can see all the components. Well, I like showing off how simple it is. Like I've seen, especially with some of like the first team stuff we talked to, when they're used to a very complex robot. Mm -hmm. They'll look and they'll be like, oh. I like guess two boxes and four motors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you can do this, anyone can do this. And yep. that's what I like. Because it ends up with a lot of them talking about actually building robots. Like, oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, the devil's in the stupid ego. Of course. How do you cut these wheels? Uh, Just like a jig? Well, this one's fun because we, we can see all our measurements. Yeah. Jigsaw by hand. Yeah. 
What is that polystyrene? What what is what's the H P V C or whatever? Oh wow. Um, fight. Um, I'm standing next to the real beauty. Um, uh, <laughs> you don't mind me asking, um, sure. the shot and the tombstone fight, what was the shot disabled the side of the drive? Right? Uh, so, not this one, because obviously we, we got, we got yeah. through the pile like got damaged. That was the wedge, that was when the wedge came up yeah, like that. Yeah, this is the one we used against Son of Wyatt. But there's a, he kind of popped us a little bit, the front, and the whole robot kind of flew up. And he actually caught us underneath here, and, and that spun the whole robot around. Oh, he got, he got the wet, he got under the wedge? Yeah, he got, he caught somewhere like around here, he just caught an edge and just like, spun the robot. Normally you just like, deflect off the surfaces and everything. And inside here, we have, um, our electronics are on shock mounts. And the shock mounts, you'd be surprised, like, they, you, you poke them a little bit, you, you punch them, they don't move very much, but when these robots get hit, all those G-forces, it moves a lot. Oh, yeah. So it moves so much that it actually pulls a uh, connector out of it. Stop and that was the unfortunate part. We opened it up and we're like, what happened? And it just... It, it was moved. one connector. That's it. Just yeah. one connector. So was this on or um, this, this, no, this is, I think that's what I hope the weapon is placed. Yeah, so, oh, no, no, no. this is, uh, we replaced the arms, but everything else on here is uh, how we fought Son of Wyatt here. So this is the way we used to get Son of Wyatt here. You can see, like, they, hit, they did that. So, this is the blade that we used against them. <laughs> what about the witch doctor fight? Yeah, why don't you use the wedge for the witch doctor fight? Oh, we the idea is the, we were, we were hoping to use the horse. Uh, this action uh, yeah, I'm like, better just come over here. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's typically, it's, it's kind of like the, the commonly accepted strategy is to try to have a low angle so when they, if they do hit it, they kind of sky off. This is a good, it's what Paul tried to do. We can keep the bumps down as well. Yeah, that is what Paul tried to do. So, it was really unfortunate. Um, so I let my pick grow in. I don't actually love to see um, Saw plays by Pipe Force because... Oh boy. Um, I'll sign me up for that. OBWPI was going to be around three. No, because I think that would have been that would have been good for you. One, testing your driving ability, and two. It actually could be a challenging fight to fight. Yeah, two, if you get him in the corner, I know his armor is like all best and all the battle buttons, but that's so deadly. Yeah, that's where the top thinking. is where all of like, yeah. the top is where. It's got like quarter inch aluminum, so Son of Wachi's frame was quarter inch and three eighths, and we went through the whole corner section. So I think if we actually lined up a good shot, Bike force, it would have gone through them just like we would bail out. Yeah. They could definitely be a tough match. But, yeah, I mean, but getting, getting, but getting there is yeah, the, that's the tough, there. Part. tough part. Yeah. <laughs> if there's any bot I'd place money on, it probably could be. Oh boy. Or no another crush. You can cobalt. <laughs> or, yeah, or, 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 or cobalt. Or, or cobalt. But. <laughs> Oh, well, it's pretty scary. Last season, I don't think we were ready to fight by force. Next season, we'll be more prepared. So. Yeah. And then we'll accept that challenge. <laughs> Obviously, not yet. Great. That would be scary. <laughs> Media uppercut. My yo-yo. You know who it is. It's about 50 rock balls. Wow. Uh, but this is just fighting another way that was harder than ours. <laughs> so. Holy and crap. There's just... This was so... Yeah, most of these... All these hits were from Mike Force pretty much. Mike Force did Force this to the, to the weapon? weapon. Yeah. Yep. We only hit weapon on weapon with Bite Force. All hail Bite Force! <laughs> What's Bite Force's weapon made out of? Uh, it's S7 tool steel, but they have some magic key treating method that they were to tell us. He used some Witch Doctor Voodoo. Yeah. yeah. Paul, you what? I, I like number five. Oh, Will! Look, he's a cyber. I mean, this place is really cool. Honestly, if you guys, um, I know you guys almost got out of the arena on the first hit, but on the first hit, he got almost got stuck at the side. So one thing that they didn't tell us to me that, that we do know is that the reason why Mike Force didn't hit us was because his entire weapon assembly was shattered internally. So his weapon shaft was broken and his bearings, and then also his frame was split down the middle. So if we were to hit one more time weapon to weapon, Mike Force would have ripped in half. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> Give us the shaft and bearings. So if you guys think like, it's stuck like this, you don't want that. We don't know. We, we, don't, we don't want to hit him one more time. Huh? That would have been incredible! Uh, MIT best WPI again. So we did all this uh, in our machine shop. It's called Area 51. So the entire 
your butt this time? Can I rate it? It's all yeah. aluminum. Oh, it's, it's all so, The back end's all aluminum. Yeah. And the front end was all clean cut by our sponsor. Oh, it's all aluminum. It was next to the robot. You get a picture with it. Holy crap. He's got a huge. He's got topless. He's got a ripper. Also uppercut. Also uppercut. We got one of each of them. This guy. This guy. This kid is the greatest. This is the most wholesome thing here. You stand over here. This event is great, isn't it? Yeah. Go, go, go stand next to Omar. I've become addicted to socks. There you go. Ready? Get me a. Do this man. I want to see see how it is. I want to see it. 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 Um, in our division. Yeah, and then we went into the rumble and then I did just the robot. Um, yeah, so we went into the rumble, which I had no idea was all weight classes, and Will was driving it. And, um, it's not my fault. Sorry. It, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, the motor is loose, um, the wheels got torn off, we had to take the battery out, and, um, we duct taped the wedge together. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's still pretty bad. Um, and the lifter stopped working. But I made the full three minutes against. Um, I made the full three minutes against Mini Valkyrie. I apologize for going through a tunnel twice. So we were in a rumble to decide first, second, and third place. We we were voted second. So then we faced them in the finals, and I had to duct tape the quad back together. I tried to use titanium as a um, as a lance. It actually worked okay. It's just the problem was the wheel foam wheels got mangled. Um, the double wheel setup actually worked pretty good. It slowed us down, but it probably kept us alive. Whereas if we hadn't used the double wheel setup against um, Mini Valkyrie, it would have ripped off the wheels. Just like what happened with the rubble. Yeah. Actually, if I if I had the double wheels in the rumble, which I couldn't really do because they got taken off. Fight bot would have been safe. Um, so I'll be posting videos of just the raw fights, and then I'll also be making this vlog video that I'm still filming right now. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, Will brought in Tombstone as a mini bot. The hex bot. I have PTSD. <laughs> and he, he got murdered. Three fights. He got murdered he by me. He won us one, and then mini Valkyrie. First, he split the weapon in half. Then the, well, the weapon was then gone after that. Then he took a tire. <laughs> then he took another tire. Now. <laughs> Wait, he took both tires. Yes! And I lost all of that. <laughs> and we got to meet seven builders. Eight. Eight. One of uh, P1 was there. Huge. Sawblaze. Um, overhaul. Uppercut. We got some exclusive information from them. Um, yeah, we were not going to tell Paul about not, Familia. Yeah, we're not going to tell Paul about that. Um, I will because Paul. Oh, Bloodsport was there and Ribot. And we got to meet them all and talk to them a lot. And I wore the Ribot head. We both wore the Ribot head. I love this complete. I could die happy now. So that's how Mass Destruction went for us. Um, second place. What can I say? 